What is up? It is your boy. <laughs> Don't ask why I just did that. I couldn't have made a worse intro ever. What is up, everybody? It is Oakland Shields here, and today I'm just talking because I have, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I have oh, tons of ideas, I just don't know which one to pick. So we're just gonna do something, and then I'm gonna have an actual video for you guys um, on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. And before I start this video, or whatever we're gonna talk about, I wanna say I'm sorry for being so late on my videos. Something happened to me last Thursday that really got me to heart, and that really hurt me, and we'll discuss this later. Maybe later in the video, but maybe not. But for now, I'm better, and I'm in a good mood, and so we're just gonna play some whatever we're gonna play. I don't really care. But, uh... <laughs> Why? I just... I don't understand, people. I really don't. Like, Keemstar, or Scarce, or any news channel is just so garbage. It's so toxic. Like... They legit search on people's stuff for hours and hours and hours, waiting for them to find something interesting so they can freaking talk about it. That's, like, that's that's practically stalking. Like, I don't really have a problem with Scarce, but that's that's either way he does the same thing. That's still stalking. Keemstar is just a bitch. You freaking, what a bitch. But, like, I just don't understand what the point is. Like, nobody really cares. Like, who cares? Like, you don't want to, like, sooner or later, how much you want to bet somebody's channel is going to go down or isn't going to work. And they have people that support them and support them and support them. Like, what's drama, like what Drama Alert is doing now, but he kind of deserves that. But most people that really do care about their videos and don't really care about anybody other, anybody's business... They that make great content that really don't care that get exposed for no apparent reason And I don't understand what the meaning behind it is so if scarce or drama alert is watching this video Which I really doubt they will just stop being dicks and stop stalking people and stop getting them exposed like phase Jev Like scarce legit stalks him all the time like he just looks on his Twitter looks on everything And I've seen that and freaking Jev has talked about this too and don't don't get me wrong, I'm not a FaZe fan. Like I like I watch some of their videos sometimes and I don't really care what you guys say about me watching their videos. But Jev Jev is such a good guy. Like he, he he's super funny, his content is amazing, but he has done nothing wrong to be able to get exposed, or if he's ever going to get exposed, there he has done nothing wrong. But a lot of channels are like that and they have been exposed. Um like I just don't understand what the reason is for having news channels, but like Real life is different, like, things with Obama and, like, things with our government, that's a whole different thing, but, like, on YouTube and people's personal life, I don't understand what the point is of them telling news about them, like, it's, it's, it's really stupid, I'm gonna be dead honest, it's, it's so stupid, like, nobody, I don't really care about it, like, I just... I just like to watch some good content, and I don't want to see somebody's channel go down, uh, go downhill because some stupid little piece of shit YouTuber that talks about shit on his channel, that talks about news on his channel, exposes him or just lets him or just gives out his address or docks him like fucking Keemstar because he's a dick. I just don't understand the point of that because people just work hard at this. Like, I can't say I work that hard at this because I do try, but by all means, how many? I have 25 subscribers. Like, I don't like that. I mean, I was, I was even surprised I made that. Not gonna lie to you guys, it was freaking ridiculous that I even made that. I freaking, I freaking thought I'd quit by now. And I keep saying freaking, I don't know why. But I thought I'd quit by now. But I just don't understand the point of people getting exposed and like, Rice Gum exposed, Face Jeff exposed. Phase Rug exposed, Keemstar exposed, even though he deserves it. Like, I don't understand the point of that. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's just so toxic, and just YouTube is just such a place to get caught up in drama. Like, Leafy, all of his videos are satire, and I, that's fine. I don't care. Like, I watch him. He's freaking hilarious. Like, all his videos are satire, which means they are made for parody purposes only, and he puts that in his description, and people that freaking hate on him is because he, they say, oh, he's a cyber bully, and I just did that voice because he does that, but, um, but, like, he, like, I just don't understand, like, his videos are funny, like, he's just joking around, and he puts that in his description, but I do kind of wish he put a, a disclaimer before he started each video, but he does do a disclaimer in his description, I don't understand what you guys don't get about it, that all of his videos are parody, that they're just, that they're just for fun, like, they're not real, except, like, the Onision rant and the Keemstar rant, 
I understand why he made those. That makes perfect sense because those people deserve it because those people are fucking assholes, okay? And I know I'm ranting on about this, but this needs to be talked about and this needs to be spread around the community and I just don't understand why people have to expose other people unless they deserve it, like Keemstar or Nision. But, like, Leafy's never done really anything wrong. Like, when he made fun of the mental kid or whatever it was, he said he was sorry. Like, he, like he legit said he was sorry he didn't post for a couple of days, he got past it, everybody else got past it, like, that's how channels need to be, if you do something wrong, you apologize, and you move on, that's the point, I just don't see why people have to expose other people just so they can get views, or YouTube money, or whatever, if you guys haven't noticed, I haven't monetized my videos in, since, like, my first 10 videos, and the reason I don't do that is because I don't really care about the income, maybe sooner or later I will, but... It doesn't bother me, because as long as I'm entertaining you guys, that's the point. That's the reason why I do this. It's not for the money. It's not for the views. It's just to entertain the few people that actually watch me. Like, if 25 people watch me, then as long as I'm entertaining 25 people that I don't even know, that would be awesome if I could meet up with them, but... I'm meeting up with, like, I'm talking to 25 people that watch my videos, and I love that, and it's just cool to see that people enjoy some of my videos, and I feel bad, because a lot of times I don't upload, or I copy other people, and, and I'm, I'm not, and I'm, I'm owning up to that, and I understand that, that you guys can be mad at me for, it, and I don't really know why I this just came up, but... <laughs> But I'm better now, yeah, guys. More videos to come on Wednesdays and Fridays, and maybe some on the weekend. I'm not entirely sure. That may be the time where I make all my videos, because I'm trying some new stuff out, working on my outro for my videos. But I love you guys to death. Please just don't be an asshole on YouTube. Just don't expose people. Like, if people are watching this, just don't do it. And I don't understand. And, uh, and I just, I don't understand why people have to do this stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys to death. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Click the link in the description to subscribe to Chronic TGL. And if you would like to buy a pair of no-scope glasses, click the link in the description. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> okay, so before I go, actually, I have a little story. That just actually kind of happened. So I was freaking running around my house looking for my stupid cat. I don't even know where the hell he went. I was so lost. I opened up the door to get a package and stuff. I was freaking, like, freaking out because I couldn't find my cat. And he's not even, like, a year old yet. He's just a little little baby. Little baby. And I was freaking looking for him. And I was like, where the hell is he at? Where the hell is he at? And I was looking all around the house. I couldn't find him. But I looked under my bed. And he was just sitting there under my bed, like, inside the bed. I'll put the video up right here. But, yeah. I love you guys to death. Watch this video if you would like to see a little cat freaking stuck inside my bed. I don't even know how he got in there. But just watch the video. It's, like, a minute long. Um, I love you guys to death. And, like I said, subscribe if you're new. And if you like my videos, subscribe. If you don't like it, click the dislike button. Doesn't bother me a bit. No hate needed, just love. I don't know why I just said that, but okay. Love you guys to death. And, uh, yeah, here's the cat video. Guys, I was looking for my freaking cat. I was just walking around everywhere looking for my cat. I was afraid he got out. And he freaking, I don't even know how he did this, but he's, he's down here under my bed. How do you even do that? Jesus. I don't know how we got in. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, how'd you do that, Mr. Tibbs? Look at look at his little arm. Okay, we gotta figure this out. I'll be back. Let me see if I can get him out. Look, there he is. There's my cat. I don't know how he managed to do this, but he is like inside my bed. Still trying to get him out. This is obviously ridiculous. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get him out now. I legit just cut open this hole, and he doesn't want to come out. I cut open this hole under my bed, and he goes, <laughs> Come on! Oh, I was looking for you everywhere. You gave me a heart attack. I thought you ran outside or something. Stupid cat. I'm just still gonna try and get him out, so he doesn't freaking die. He won't die, but... You know what I mean. Well, I decided we're just gonna leave him in here until he decides to come out. I don't know why he's doing. I don't know why he's doing this. He's just. Uh, he is a cat. Now he wants to attack it. Stop it. Yep, we're just gonna wait for him to come out. No, so. Yeah, <laughs> stupid cat. <laughs>